guys welcome back to world's illuminator 11 i hope you're having a great friday and welcome if it is your first time checking out my channel so earlier i was looking into getting a couple of things for my sacred space and i thought i would actually come on and talk a little bit about a sacred space before doing just a couple of cards to see what messages the angels have got for everyone watching uh before you know on this friday just before we start the weekend so a sacred space is something that I found to be really useful. I never used to have a sacred space. And it was only after I started my spiritual journey at the beginning of January that I started hearing about, um, you know, a sacred space. And about two months later, I decided to start to create one for myself. And I have to say in the last six months, it's something six months or so, it's something that I've really found to be very, very useful and really important to have as a divine feminine on your spiritual journey. And um, it's, it's really important to have one because, you know, it's, it's somewhere where you can actually just go and be and be able to be fully present and, uh, you know, to take yourself away from the external world, the things that are going on. It can even be taking yourself away from the things that are going on where you live, you know, in your house, in your flat, and just go into this place where you can be fully present and you can be able to connect with your heart, to be able to connect with your soul, and then also be able to meditate and just get into the place of being able to connect with the divine, the universe, uh, with the angels, and, you know, just that time to, you know, connect with your spirit, guys, just the time to have that you know, me time that to have to connect with spirit and to connect with your soul and your heart. And I've just really found that really important. And, you know, even, you know, as a divine feminine on your twin flame journey, you know, there, could, there are things going on, you know, with your divine masculine. And it's a time for you to just get to um, you have that place where you can go in and just be able to calm yourself, you know, relax, relax your mind, calm your mind and just, you know, and it's really helpful to have this sacred space. Like I actually, in my, in my place, in my sacred space, I have actually put, found a little corner. I'm lucky enough to have a spare room. So I've found the corner, a nice corner where I've put a nice big um, poster on this wall of like the tree of life. And then I've got nice little cozy rugs underneath and I bought some cushions as well. So I've got a few cushions that I sit on when I'm doing my meditation. And, and then on my altar table, I have quite a number of things on there. And it's quite a low table that I got, you know, that really sort of works with, when I'm doing my meditation, sitting on the cushions. And on this table, you can put all sorts of things, um, but you can you can put like divine beings, like you, you can have a Buddha or, you know, a, a, or figures of angels or even just pictures, you know, whatever you you feel that you want to have on your altar, like of the figures of divine beings, then you can have those. Um, I also have some crystals on my altar. I have I have um, some incense that I use that I tend to burn when I'm doing my meditations. Um, I have some candles as well. So you know, so it's really good to have quite a variety of things. I have some plants. It's quite nice to bring in a bit of green on your altar table. And you can have, I've got a singing bowl as well. So you can have all sorts of things that, you know, help with sort of bringing in that sacredness into your space and that, you know, to help you to connect with the spirit and to also connect with your heart and with your soul. So it's a really great place to have to just be able to go and have that me time, that time to yourself. You know, I actually, when I go into my sacred space, I take off my shoes and, and I sit on, you know, on the rug so it's 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 as if you know um I, in the room i take off the shoes so it's as if i'm just stepping into this place that's sacred and you know where i can just relax and be able to calm my mind and also be able to really just go within and connect with my soul and you know with with uh with spirit with the angels as well so it's a really good thing to have and i just thought i'll mention it in case it's something that you don't have and you'd like to look into creating a sacred space for yourself and you know it doesn't have to be um in another room you know you might not have enough space 
it can just be even you know by your bedside a little table by your bedside or if you've got more room you can put even in your wardrobe you can create a space where you just have that time to be by yourself where it is only that special place for you for you to connect with your heart and soul and also to connect with with the angels with your spirit guides and or it can be even you know under if you live in a flat or something you know just under a staircase just a little space where you have that time to have that connection and that uh, somewhere that is special for you so i just thought i would mention that in case it helps somebody else and um so i'm going to end off by um doing a couple of cards to see what messages are coming through from the angels on this friday just before we go into the weekend uh so thank you angels starting with the guardian angel cards thank you angels what message do you have for everyone watching on this friday what messages do you have there we go right so the angel that's the angel sorry the card that's come out is rainbow okay and it says you are a jewel even though you may not see it even in the darkest times you shine eternally bright you are surrounded by an aura of love and a pot of gold waits beyond the horizon all will clear soon trust and continue to follow your dreams you are eternally blessed what a lovely card to come from your guardian angel on this friday letting you know that you are a jewel even though you may not see it even though you may have times when you are feeling low and you know going through the tough time on this journey the angels are letting you know that you are a jewel and you need to see that you need to know that and you need to remember that and also you know even if you're going through the tough times on your spirit on your on your twin flame journey you are always eternally bright. You have that light within you. You are the light as a divine feminine. So always remember that you have so much love around you and you just need to find that love within yourself to bring out that love, you know, to give yourself that self-love and remember that you are loved beyond measure by the angels. There's an aura of love around you and the angels are always there, which is why it's really good to have a sacred space where you can go to be able to give yourself the time to connect with your heart you know because that's where you have that love for yourself but also to be able to connect with the angels you know to connect with the angels connect with the universe because they have they are there for you giving you all that love and having that time and that space to go and be able to connect with them is really important so that's that goes really well with that so and it says as well there's a pot of gold that awaits you beyond the horizon so you know all your dreams you know all the union that you want with or you desire with your divine masculine uh and all your dreams of the life that you want to have all that is there waiting for you and all you have to do is to just give yourself that that love and you know move yourself away from feeling that you know from feeling down and having fears and doubts and worries and just move yourself into having that self-love knowing that you are a duo yourself and that you have there is so much love around you and the more you see that love that is around you and the more you are gra grateful for the love that you have from the angels from the universe then the more you bring that love into your life because gratitude brings in more of that so the more you are grateful for the love that the angels in the universe have got for you and you see that love and the more that love will come into your life and you you know the more love will come even from your divine counterpart and union will come everything is just the the pot of gold is there waiting you know just beyond the horizon you just have to get into that place of recognizing that you are a jewel and you are amazing and you are loved beyond measure so it says trust and continue to follow your dreams so whatever happens Happens. do not give up on your dreams know that everything is happening the way that it is meant to happen and at the time that it is meant to happen and the angels are there eternally blessing you and they're letting you know that they are there working on the things that you truly want to bring into your life and everything is there waiting for you and you just have to trust and believe that it is all coming into your life 
So great message from your guardian angel on this day. And I'm just going to pull uh, divine feminine power messages and to see what other messages coming through from the angels. So thank you, angels. What other messages do you have for the divine feminines watching on this Friday? What other messages do you have? There we go. Right. So two have jumped out and wow. So the first one is you've got this and heaven has got you. So the angels are saying that you've got this and heaven has got you. So all you have to do is to just keep focusing on yourself and remembering that you are a jewel and a rainbow and all the golds, you know, all the things that you truly want awaits you and you've got this. You just have to remember how loved and how precious you are. And just continue to look after yourself and giving yourself that self-love. And then the other one that came out is forgive your twin. So if you're still feeling a bit down or, you know, you still have that pain and you're going through the suffering, the angels are saying, forgive your twin because forgiveness heals. Forgiveness is what will also help you to get to that place of being in a, in a place of unconditional love because this is what the pot of gold that holds, you know, that, that pot of gold that the angels are talking about in, in this card, it, it all comes with unconditional love. So you have to have that unconditional love for yourself. You have to forgive your twin for all that's happened. Forgive yourself as well for everything that's happened that's led to separation or the things that have been going on and just get to that place of unconditional love because unconditional love is what will bring in all the things that you desire, that pot of gold that awaits you on the horizon. So just for, move into a place of unconditional love give yourself some, that time to connect with your heart, connect with your soul, meditate, you know, get that sacred space, space for yourself where you can connect with yourself, connect with the angels to feel that love that they have for you, connect with the universe to feel that love that they have all around you and that they're showing you so that you can really be able to be grateful for it and then bring in more love into your life and have that unconditional love coming as well from your divine masculine and and from the angels and for you to be able to give that unconditional love so i hope you have a great weekend guys and i look forward to seeing you on the next video i hope that helps a bit in relation to the sacred space because it really does help me as well on my journey and i'll see you on the next video love peace positivity and light